a big hello to all the learners and viewers out there. So, uh, today's video is about the introduction to Google Drawings. So, if there is a festive season within a couple of weeks or if you have a company event coming around the corner, you are watching the correct video. Let's explore Google Drawings and see what benefits we can extract out of it. Let's start from a blank Google Drawing board. This is the landing page of Google Drawing which is appearing on your screen. The very first thing that we'll be doing to Google Drawing's landing pages, we'll try to change the name of Google Drawing. So uh, for changing the name, you can click here and make the name as intro, which is simple. This checkbox screen is showing that the background is transparent by default and you can change it by right clicking here. And these are the background options. You can select from the solid colors which, is, which are available here or from the gradients which uh, are also part of this background theme. Or in case you have something within your mind or within your organizational theme, you can custom made it. So this totally depends on you. The best part here is that all the designers or the infographers which are actually using these posters digitally would like to or would love to in fact change the canvas size. In order to do so you have to go here to the file menu, go to page setup and here are the available options. These are the three default options. In case you have something bigger in your mind, go to this custom and change as per your requirement. These are the four available parameters. You can either select from inches, centimeters, points or pixels. I'll use the inches one currently and I'll just use 8 into 11.5 which is one of the standards for posters. So this is uh, your landing page with a default uh, custom in canvas in fact. Uh, these are the available toolbars. Let's try and put in some image and let's see what uh, options we can explore. Let's put uh, a ball image here within Google Drive and let's see uh, what comes up. This is a ball. We'll try to put it here. Just drag it down onto your drawing board and it will be available. Among these features, you'll find a select line feature. Uh, what I would like to do here is I would like to cut this hexagonal part and just uh, paste it here right below the image. So I'll use the polyline option, which is this one. And let's see what the option is all about. I'll cut it simply. See. Uh, I'll just uh, here it is so I'll go to the select option it is selected and you can drag it down below the image so this is the purpose of this polyline tool it uh, is it is actually a cropping tool and you can use it uh, as per your requirement now you do have other options like you can insert images shapes arrows call outs equations you can write uh, something within your image or drawing board you can insert an image with all these options you can even change the background or the fill color and these are the available options you can change the border color and all these colors are available you can always use the custom colors as well so uh, these are uh, the this is the basic screen google drawing has you can always use the tool menu and link objects to your Google Drawing or go to preferences and make some uh, shortcuts uh, for your Google Drawings which will make your work look more smarter. So all these options are available within Google Drive so you can use any of these for your convenience and these will always be available to you and these are all available on a cloud storage so no need to worry about uh, keeping these uh, handy always these will always be available onto your android phones please make sure that uh, you are using all these options and if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel which is learners DAC. stay tuned for more educational videos thanks for watching